Hi friends, this is Jarvis. Welcome to the Guitar Spa where we bring you all the beautiful guitar reviews. And right now I have one more special guitar that just came in. I'm gonna fit the pickup. We're gonna fit the uh, Anthem pickup on this guitar soon. And uh, but I thought I, while I have some time, I'll do a review on this guitar. This is uh, in fact a uh, Bourgeois Dana Bourgeois. Dana Bourgeois. A little bit of history about Dana Bourgeois. He's one of the uh, foremost reputable guy in, in, in the guitar industry which is famous for tap tuning and uh, the voicing even uh, a lot of the guitars, the Schoenberg guitars and also uh, a little bit influence on the Martin guitars and uh, he reset up his uh, own line of guitars uh, called Bourgeois guitars and right now we have a Slope D Slope D Sunburst, uh, Tobacco Sunburst with the um, a white called Tobacco Sunburst uh, top with the um, short scale that is built in onto this guitar. Let's uh, let's let's start. Let's get started on this uh, guitar review. This guitar is a Slope D. The Slope D uh, pays tribute to the uh, Gibson's J Forty Five. You look at the slope. Why this slope D? Because they slope it rather than having it square here. They slope it down a little bit and it's slightly wider around around the waist part. But well, what this does is it gives a little bit more a, a, a wider tone perspective on, on this guitar. And this one has a Enderon neck top. An Enderon neck top, as we know Enderon neck top, it has a lot of headroom. Uh, it has a uh, high velocity of the sound and it's so stiff to weight ratio is uh, high also. So it's stiff, so you can actually turn it down a little bit thinner. And uh, the guitar gives you a really clear high, it's really fundamental notes uh, based with the back and sides, uh, a good old mahogany. But this mahogany, this guitar is fairly light because this guitar has a, a, a they, they tap tune the back and sides. You can hear this responsive back. So the back plays not just as a reflective but a responsive back to, to, to respond back to the top. And uh, the way this guitar is braced is a forward shift X brace. The, the braces are thin as well as tall. But on the, uh, the two tone bars are fairly uh, short and thin. Uh, so it gives you that, that deep bottom end. But the other thing about the contributing factor of the deep bottom end is the X brace on the treble side is non scallop, it's tapered straight then tape it down, scallop down, but it's non scallop. However, the base side is scallop a little bit to give you a little bit more uh, the looseness on the, the, the bass response. You can listen listen to it later. And uh, this guitar is really good for flat picking. You can also use it for, for finger style because it's responsive. It's really different from the normal J45. They really have improved on the tradition, the J45 uh, model. And uh, this Guitar has a, a ebony fretboard and an ebony bridge, but the ebony bridge is uh, designed in a sense is a little modern design. But if you look uh, closely to the ebony bridge, the ebony bridge is highly polished. Polished, so it's, it's like it looks like there's a finish on it, but there isn't a finish. But they really polished and buffed it up. And the all the bridge pins are all the, the bridge holes, bridge pins holes are all slotted. It comes originally with the uh, bone saddle and bone pins. I've upgraded this with the uh, uh, FMI saddle to give it a little bit more uh, a, a warmer and a deeper, uh, a clearer tone and a fairly more responsive guitar. The whole guitar is bound in ivory. ivory. And the headstock, you have a ebony, this one has an ebony headstock on this guitar that is bound with the bourgeois signature and the volutes on the back one piece neck and uh, the whole guitar is a boat on system the boat on is not just on the neck but it's also on four little boats on the top here okay there are four boats here for the for the fretboard extension and two boats here and the ivory uh, binding on this guitar the the uh, the back braces are all the parallel braces are all fairly thin and not that tall. They may be half an inch, half an inch uh, tall, and uh, the contributing factor to how responsive the guitar is. Very dot markers, uh, very uh, I think two mm zero one point five mm dot markers uh, pearl inlays on this guitar, and this comes with the uh, Waverly uh, tuners, which are really fairly expensive and really good tuners. 
And there was a nut width of this guitar. The nut width is not 1 3 quarter or 1 11 16, but 1 23 36, which is slightly wider than a uh, 1 11 16, but slightly narrower than a 1 3 quarter. So, neck profile is pretty thin neck profile. Um, let's listen to how this guitar sounds. Just take it, it's really, really loud. And because of the mahogany, it gives you that fundamental uh, tone. Uh, not too much overtones, but fundamental. Clear also. this guitar or the third fret
Christmas, baby. This uh, finger style of it. Then you have it, the Bourgeois D Slope, sh slope Shoulder uh, Short Skill Guitar with the Sunburst and the Rondet Top that gives you that power, that fundamental note, a lot of ceiling, you know, no, uh, no without distortion, and the mahogany back, back and sides to, to deliver that woody kind of tone, that uh, fundamental tone that's good for flat pickers and even uh, for people who wants to finger pick. This is an all-rounder guitar. You can achieve a go it up on stage, and you can look at it. It's beauty, beautiful. The sunburst is really beautiful. The top is beautiful because uh, it's white grain, but there's a melody grain uh, silking that is on the top, and the the the, the sunburst is really finished, uh, very uh, intricately and really uh, beautifully, and and it, it pairs up with a very fairly beautiful. Uh, tortoise shell, the way called pick guard on this guitar. Uh, incidentally, the Bojo guitars are available in Singapore through Guitar Gallery. Yes, Guitar Gallery. Look for Terry Mario. Right now, he's out to he's up in USA at the NAMM show two zero one two, and uh, yeah, this one was bought from uh, this owner bought this from from him, you know. And the Bojo guitars is a little bit different from a Collins or a Santa Cruz. Uh, what the bourgeois normally characteristic tone characteristic of the bourgeois is you get a very clean tone clean tone in terms of workmanship is fair is very clean uh, fit and finish is as good as the Collins Santa Cruz or Haas and Dutton and even the, the good ones but it's just a different it's, it's a different uh, tonal differences slightly tonal differences and uh, playability is there um, I would say this is, this is really a good sounding guitar and a good guitar that you may want to consider. Bojo Guitars from Guitar Gallery in Singapore, yes. Uh, if you like this review, you can just post a review, a comment just below this YouTube video. And uh, if you want to contact me, my email address is guitarsaddle, G-U-I-T-A-R-S-A-D-D-L-E at hotmail.com. My name is Jarvis, J-A-R-V-I-S, yes. And until uh, my next review, I'm going to say live with passion. Play your guitar and love, love, peace, joy, health, more love and more health be multiplied in your life. I'll say have a great day, have a great day and think positively, think positive thoughts and uh, be kind to the people around you and just play your guitar. I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.